Hi, I'm Jill, and welcome to a new Phonetic Sounds video. This time, we're focusing on the sound ch. Ch. The sound ch is represented by this symbol. As you can see, the symbol is two symbols pushed together to make a single sound. So the symbol for the sound t and the symbol for the sound sh. Push them together to make the sound ch. ch. To make the sound ch, you push your lips forward, your tongue goes to the top of your mouth and blocks air and then lets it out. Ch. Ch. This is an unvoiced sound, so we don't use our voice box. It's only air coming out of your mouth. Ch. Ch. So let's take a look at some words with the ch sound in them. Chair. Chair. Cheese. Cheese. Chess. Chess. And here's a tongue twister with the ch sound in it. Charlie Cheetah chews a chunk of cheap cheddar cheese. Charlie Cheetah chews a chunk of cheap cheddar cheese. As with all sounds in English, the spelling and pronunciation don't always match. So let's take a look at some spelling versus pronunciation. Most often in English, the sound ch is written with the letters ch, like in these words. Cherry, cherry, child, child, church, church. Sometimes you might see the letters ch written, but the sound is k, like in these words. Headache, headache, school, school. Sometimes you might see the letters ch written, but the sound is sh, like in these words. Chef, chef, machine, machine. And then sometimes the sound ch is spelled in a totally different way, like in these words. Cello, cello, nature nature which which so i'm sorry there aren't really any rules for the spelling and pronunciation of the sound ch the best thing to do is learn both the spelling and the pronunciation with a new word but let's get back to the sound ch and here's another tongue twister to practice the sound ch if a woodchuck could chuck wood, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? So the sound ch is very close to the sound j in English. One is voiced and one is unvoiced. So these two sounds, ch and j, have the same mouth shape, the same positioning of the tongue. The only difference is one is voiced. We use our voice box and you feel a vibration here. And the other is unvoiced, just blowing air out of our mouth. So unvoiced is ch and voiced is j. You can learn more about voiced and voiceless or unvoiced consonants in another video. I'll put the link up here and I'll put it below the video as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little more about the sound ch in English. I'm making videos of all the phonetic sounds and you can find them in Jill's English Pronunciation Gym right here on my YouTube channel or on the Study HQ Cairns website. The idea of Jill's English Pronunciation Gym is like an exercise gym. You go regularly to strengthen your muscles but this time you're strengthening your English muscles, which will help to improve your English pronunciation 
and in turn help your English listening. There are phonetic sounds, tongue twisters, limericks, and lots more ways to practice your pronunciation. So head over to Jill's gym for a workout today. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.